Hey there, everybody. It's Pastor Steve here. Uh, I hope you and your small groups are really enjoying your study in Romans. Um, today, uh, this little video clip, we're going to discuss a little bit about the passage that I'm going to be teaching on uh, on Sunday, November 13th. Um, and that's Romans chapter 3, verses 27 through 31. Um, and this section is coming right off of that previous section where Paul finally says that even though everybody is guilty, even the godless people, the moral people, and the religious people, even though they're all guilty and their righteousness can never reach God's standards, there is a righteousness that is revealed, a righteousness that God gives that comes by faith uh, to those who believe in Jesus Christ. Uh, which is obviously really good news. But Paul, in this section, 27 through 31, is anticipating a question that people are going to ask of, well, what's the benefit? Like, is there nothing that I can brag about? Is there nothing better um, from having been the chosen people of God or, or having the law or, or actually doing the law? And so here Paul says, well, there's no room for boasting. There's nothing you can brag about. There, your ethnicity, your privileges, your moral achievements are nothing to brag about. It's only by faith. Um, and so faith doesn't give room for boasting. Faith leaves no room for excluding others. Where he talks about that it's for Jew and Gentile. Um, faith leaves no room for religious pluralism. That because God is one God, that he gets to set the rules for everybody. And, and that everybody can come to him by faith. And that faith also leaves no room for disobedience. Um, that the law is established by faith. So, um, so there's a lot in your small groups that you could talk about. And really one thing that you could discuss is, Really, why do we as Christians tend to um, say that there are some things that we can brag about? There are some things that we can rest in, some things that, that might make us look better in the eyes of God or better compared to other people. Because um, faith really does exclude those things. So what are those things that we tend to focus on that are really not faith in God alone? Um, but you can also discuss how does faith establish the law? Um, on, on Sunday, I'm going to talk about three different ways that faith does establish law. So think about that um, and really draw out the fact that the law is still there and we should still be uh, looking to that as valuable part of who we are as Christians. Um, but then one other thing to, to, that you could discuss is how does faith dictate the way that we should interact with other people. Um, so, or the way that we should think about other people. So just these few five verses here uh, have some real deep, rich uh, theology and some deep things that impact the way that we should affect our own thinking um, and the way that we should think about other people. So uh, enjoy your time in your one another groups. Um, and I look forward to seeing what God's going to do uh, in us and through us because of this. So, God bless.